Hi, Craig Cameron here, and I'm in uh, probably my favorite round pen here on the Double Horn Ranch. I've uh, worked and uh, started a lot of horses out here on this dirt, and that's for sure. So I'm here today uh, with a young horse, a two-year-old, and uh, this is probably going to be about his fifth ride. I would have got the first ride, but my videographer wasn't here yet. So Megan's here. So we're filming now, so you're going to kind of get from the fifth on. And I'm going to do a lot of the same work I would do from the very first day. Establishing what? A foundation of trust, a respect, a confidence, a foundation of flexibility, position, control. So this little horse here, nice horse, and uh, came up to 4-6's ranch, a uh, gilding, owned by a really good friend of mine, somebody I really uh, respect and admire and love, and uh, his name's Red Stegall. So, uh, Red, this one's for you. So, uh, uh, this horse here, uh, he calls him Little Joe. So, let's just get it started. So, I got Little Joe really, again, I, I feel like I'm making big progress on the fifth ride uh, by now. So, so I'm going to send Little Joe off here, right here. Send him, send him, send him. And I just want to see his demeanor today, his expression today, how he's shaping up today. So I just got him out of the corral right there. And uh, again, you see just a little bit sassy. I like to count how many times to go around. So that's one. And if he looks fresh or something, I send him a little more. Two, and what I'm doing, I'm watching those, those eyes, those ears, tilt of the head, body position, expression, licking their lips. Whoa blinking their eyes and again i've been working on this horse turning and coming to me since day one it's about gaining the confidence not destroying it not being in a rush not being in a hurry i think if i had to teach you one thing it'd be to be patient and slow everything down so again i got his eye he's got his what when i walk in and he looks at me i might stop and back up got him a looking now i'm gonna move in i already know which direction i want him to move so i got to get prepared and position to send him to my right here so i come in come in come in there and just as he goes i just good step over i don't have to jump over like a wild cat and scaring use my angles watch my drive line that's really important right there those two words i just mentioned so i just move him around a little bit check him out today See why he's gonna step over? I'm gonna just get over here. Boom. Here. Boy, when he wants to get sassy, I can put him work by what? By just simply sort of cutting this ring in half. Here, step over. Second. Step, 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 step. Right here. Boom. Step. Step over. Step, 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 step. Step that horse. Boom. Step. And, and what am I doing? Simply making the wrong thing difficult, right thing easy. Well, that'll take the air out of you. All right. I'm going to walk in in a way that allows this horse to stay put, earning his attention. And uh, one reason we want him to look at us is we can't train him. Uh, if we don't have their attention. So I just offered up nice, not in a hurry to halter him, in a hurry to get him prepared to be haltered. Here, so slow those hands down. I don't mind him nuzzling me a little bit. Capture him real soft. Get that halter in good position, just like so, and fix it up. A good halter and lead are really important. Just because it's rope doesn't make it good. It needs to fit that horse. And then enough lead line where you can do your rope. So instead of just sending him off here, I'm gonna kinda walk in here, sort of pet on my horse here. Pet on my horse. Put my hands on him. I don't think you can put your hands on these horses enough or too much. I walk slow and easy but not, not slow and to where I'm spooky, like I'm gonna pounce on him or something. Touching him where that cinch is gonna go, rubbing him all over. I've been working right down on those legs every day. 
he's got all his weight on his right front right now. He'd have to shift his weight, like weight on him. In the beginning, that's, that's all I probably need right there. Just get him to give me that foot. Doesn't have to be perfect in the beginning. Noticing the changes, noticing the tries. The smallest change, slightest try. Just make a little pressure, and as he picks that foot up, that's probably a good start right there. Picks that foot up, wait on him, wait on him, give it back. I had to just make it easy for him to do the right thing. So one thing, there's, guys, there's more than one way to do things the right way. There are a lot of different things I could be doing right now, but I think I'll just come in here and uh, let's touch this horse and just get, I like him moving forward. I've been working on him going forward. Those front feet stepping forward. And I'm just rounding him out, watching his angle. Here, watching those feet and push that hip over. Here, step him this way, step him this way. Let him move off a little bit. I can touch him with that rope. Get him where he can carry that rope. Here, watch, and this is a gesture, a signal to, to disengage that hip. Step over into position and send him. See, he wants to present me with those hind quarters all the time. And I want to be careful about that. I like to swing that rope in their eye. I like to reach out and touch them with the rope. Now watch, I let him run into his own. Whoa. And I say, whoa. Good. Let this horse think. And I've been working on Getting him gentle about things moving around him. Moving around him. Touch him up. Let him feel that. Let him see that. Here, I'm gonna come in, pet on this horse. Rub on this horse. One thing I do a lot of when my colt's starting is bending and flexing. I want when somebody else comes in behind me, they go, man, that guy did a good job. That horse is soft. Pretty soon I'll get to where I create a little pressure here and a little pressure down, and as he releases, releases, as he drops that head, I turn loose of it. I turn loose of it here. I can use my rope in a lot of different ways here. Touching with his legs here, touching right up there where that cinch is gonna go. I could pick up a foot like that if I wanted. Touch him underneath, touch him across. Shorten my rope where I can control that nose, because if I could control that nose, then I could control that hip. Let that rope touch him up over there. Watch how I'm gonna let this rope touch him under his belly, then come up and swing up, and I got that rope. Here, I can snug it up like a cinch. I can do it like a back cinch. I gotta get ready. I'm gonna throw it around his hocks, real soft, get him used to that. Get him used to that. I'm gonna capture one foot. My timing has to be good, so I'm gonna drop it down and capture one foot here. I'm gonna let, wait for him to stop, so I'm gonna say, whoa. Here, touch him up, touch him up. Here, get that rope where I can get it up nice and right over that hawk right there. Went over that hawk. I'm gonna bring him around so you can see what I'm doing here. A lot of times I like to take this rope, touch him, touch him, touch him, because that's exactly when my leg's gonna touch him. And if he felt like he needed, first time I did this, he just walked and walked, walked. First time I put it around his legs, he kind of bugger and I worked with him to let him figure out that it wasn't going to scare him. Remember, sometimes they have to get scared to realize they don't need to be scared. I'm going to take my rope now and ask to set it up for this horse to follow a feel to his right, to his right. As he steps right, I'm going to step right in there with him. Step right in there with him. Step right in there with him. Good, beautiful, nice. Liked it, liked it. Here, I'm gonna work the other way, get him used to seeing things. Step in there in a way, in a way that allows him to stay. Prepare in position. Here, let him run into his own. And I'm gonna step in that pocket as he's coming to his left. I just help him to round out. That's a really good start. And we're gonna continue to keep on moving.